Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty and this is our March 2022 going through the astrology signs. And today we have one card for each sun sign. Let's see what the theme is that you are working towards this month. And we're going to start with the sign of Aries. Aries, the best is yet to come. So you've probably been working on letting go of something, whether it's a relationship or a job or a house or a situation. Maybe you have self-doubt coming in and maybe you feel like maybe you're not making the right move. This card is telling you the best is yet to come. So don't doubt that what you're working on releasing and letting go of, it is for your best and highest good. Don't doubt yourself. The best is yet to come. Keep going. Next, we have the sign of Taurus. Taurus, you have the Midas touch right now. Whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you're working towards, whatever it is that you're working through is going to have a positive outcome this month. So keep going. Keep working towards it and know that luck is on your side. Our next sign is the sign of Gemini. Geminis, you are chosen to make this difference that you're working on this month. So there must be something that you're working on. And it might be even something that you're working on in terms of yourself. Maybe it's a, a healing or a release that you are working on. Whatever you are, are intending to put your energy towards, this month, know that you're doing it because it's also going to be something from what you learn through it, you're going to be helping others with it. Next, we have the sign of Cancer. Cancers, the angels are protecting you. Peaceful warriors are watching over you. And if you're feeling like you need a little bit of a boost of strength, call upon the angels of divine white light and give them permission to support you. Remember that we have free will. So if we need the help, we have to ask for it. Our next sign is the sign of Leo. Leos, you're being asked to forgive. So think about that right now. Is it forgiving someone else? Is it forgiving a situation? a relationship or is it forgiving yourself but know that the first step to healing forward is forgiveness and forgiveness is also letting go of the shackles that have been you have been holding on to or that have been holding on to you and you haven't been able to move forward by intending to start the process of forgiveness you're giving yourself the opportunity to move past whatever it was, and to move forward. Next, we have the sign of Virgos. Virgos, you need to get out there and have more fun. You are doing too much work. You're probably doing a lot of masculine energy type stuff. A lot of go, go, go. You're not giving yourself the time to rest, to recharge, to recuperate, to have fun, to smile, to laugh. It is time. Add it into this month for yourself. It's going to serve you well. The next sign we have is the sign of Libra. Libras, are you in your head a lot? Do you have a lot of thoughts, a lot of clutter coming in? This card is asking you to maybe start to notice the things that are distracting you, the things that are um, taking you away from what it is that you're working towards. And the card says, control your thoughts and actions and ask for the help to stay focused. The Archangel Metatron is the Archangel that helps us with focus and discipline. So if you find that you're having a hard time with focus, that is a great archangel to help you call upon him. Next, we have the sign of Scorpio. Scorpios, are you worrying? Because instead of worrying, you're being asked to pray. So what that means is you're switching a negative thought, a worry, to a positive thought, a prayer. And it's a great idea to look at those things that you are worrying about. 
and also to notice that they're coming up because there's something for you to learn and there's a blessing for you to grow. So can you offer whatever it is that's going on, gratitude, thanks, for coming into your life so that you can have this growth and this experience? The card says, pray for what you need, but be grateful for what you have already received. And that's another piece of it, is what do you already have in your life? Make sure that you're grateful for all that you have. Our next sign is Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, you're healing, and the Archangel Raphael is coming in today through this card and inviting you to call upon him. Maybe you're healing your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit. Whatever it is, Archangel Raphael is here and he wants to help you, so call upon him. Our next sign is the sign of Capricorn. Capricorns, you are very wise. You have been going through a lot of spiritual growth and this card is coming up and it's reminding you to take the knowledge and the wisdom that you have and use it in a positive way this month to help yourself or to help another. Our next sign is the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius is you have hidden talents, hidden gifts, you're being asked to start to present them to the world, start getting creative. It's hidden right now. You may be aware of it, but you're not showing it to the rest of the world. Why are you holding yourself back? It's time for you to share with the rest of the people around you these gifts and talents that you have, no longer shying away. And finally, we have our Pisces. And Pisces, it's funny because tomorrow is the new moon in Pisces. And you're being asked to take a moment to retreat, to reflect, to get into a quiet time, solitude, contemplation, and acknowledge what has been going on around you, that the way you've been feeling, the things that have been rising up for you. Ask the angels to help you to receive what lesson you need to receive through this process of contemplation. Give yourself a lot of time this month to just be still, to just think about what's been going on, maybe to journal. It's like a hibernation and you need it, so allow yourself to have it. And that's our 12 signs. I hope that you receive something in here today. I always invite you to listen to your sun sign, but if you want to, take a note of your moon sign as well as your rising sign, and you'll really get a clear indication of what's coming for you this month of March. Have a great day. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.